It's Tecmo Tuesday time, and it is week nine. Week nine of the Tecmo season. We're going to be playing against the Chargers for the second time in two weeks. And then we'll be playing the Dolphins next week for the second time in two weeks, completing our back-to-back doubleheader situation. Let's take a quick look at the standings. Um, yeah, so we're still a game back from the Bills. We'll find out. Our game is the first one on the docket today, so we'll be finding out, um, you know, after our game whether or not, uh, whether or not we'll be, you know, having a chance to tie them or not. And then, the meanwhile, the Chargers are two and five. And just fighting for their lives at this point. Hopefully we can ruin it for them. Nothing against the Chargers, but, you know, fuck them. They are another team. Team of my competition, so. We will kick off. And had a good game against them two weeks ago. Boy, they got a good return, man. So, um, after this game, too, we'll take a look at the stats. The league leaders for the uh, Marion Butts. Oh, shit! Ah! Uh, oh. Damn it. Alright, the, the other way, the other side. Come on, guys. I dropped my linebacker way the fuck back there. I just had a feel. Oh, well, first off, I had kind of a feeling he was going to him because he was open. Oh, come on. We had him covered. All right, got him stuffed that time. All right, we called the play twice in a row. Let's uh, not give up a third and long here. It's not much that's more... Uh, Disheartening and it's a flea flicker. I had a bad feeling about it. Yeah, and I got the pick. All right, that's even better than holding him to a field goal or even making him punt it. Well, if they punted it, then whatever, we'd be down here at the 12. Maybe we'd have, maybe they would have booted out of the end zone, but whatever. I'm just glad we got the ball back. We got the ball back. This is our first time with the ball today. Oh, here they come. Jump! Ah, oh, I was worried about a pick there. Oh, they went and double covered. I think that was, uh... I think they went and double covered Hester and left Cash open. Along the sideline. Back to cash. Oh, look at those moves. All right. So that was interesting. It, it was the the um the Chargers' first drive. They were they were kind of gashing us a little bit, and well, both on the run running game and on uh, in the air with uh, you know they were they were making catches in coverage and they were busting out for some big gains and you know it was looking a little. Harry there, but then we got a couple, you know, we stopped a couple of their plays in the backfield and then uh, made, forced them into a third and long and got a pick out of it. And the offense did really well on our first drive. 
Oh man, I was well, if if I would have got another one, that would have been a fantastic way to close out the quarter. Oh man, missed him. Flea Flicker getting out. See, it's funny. They have the Flea Flicker, and they have a play that runs in that direction. So it's, you know, it's a good playbook to have shit like that in there where... Because they have, some teams, uh, they'll have a playbook where... Oh, shit. Going for the end zone. Ah! Just over the, out of the reach of the defender. It's Miller time. Um, yeah, some teams will have a playbook where where like they'll have a fake reverse for example but nowhere else in their playbook is there a reverse so there's no way that anybody in their right mind should buy into it and they call that play snuffed it out and again. All right, well, at least we actually made the catch. I was surprised at that. A lot of times, they don't even get the catch when it's right in their hands. Now, I know Langhorn was open deep. And he's very reliable to make, like, that jumping, leaping catches and shit. But this play, they... Is that the only play they're calling? Because I've been, I've tried that play a few times and it hasn't worked. That was a different pitch. The other one went to Johnson. That one went to Culver, and neither one of them really got much. But at least we got back to the line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage with that one. That time they were worried about Cash, and Hester was uh, the one that was open. You know, it's like. I'm gonna let the time tick a little bit. See if now if they had, um, if they had single coverage on each of them, maybe that would have that would have been fine. Because I don't think you need to double team either one of those guys. We'll run it again. I just want to walk out of the half with the lead, even if it's by a field goal. I mean, of course, I'd rather get the touchdown. We're in a pretty good spot here to do that. Uh, we'll do another run. I mean, things are getting tight over here. I'm not going to let it bleed that much more. Okay, I mean, who knows? I could get a first down and then want all that time back. Yes, there it is. Boy, does George throw slow. I was worried about it going to the back of the end zone and just bouncing, you know, out of the, out of the, out of the grass. A lot of times, those, uh, those deep passes to the end zone will go out of, will just overthrow. And, you know, especially with across the opposite field, you know, going against the grain, it's like you're throwing an extra 20 yards when you do that. So, and the way George is with the deep passes, sometimes he misses. So, I wasn't, I wasn't so sure about how effective that one was going to be, but it worked. And now we get a chance for the double dip, my favorite thing to do in this uh, game. Besides, you know, win. Ah, oh, come on, Cash. I didn't get it. Damn it. Uh, Alright, I'm punting. 
I trust my defense enough. Oh man. Look at this fucking guy. It's it's the enemy. He's pissed off about the fact that he didn't get a head coaching job and he's taking it out of me in Tecmo. Eric sleeping with the enemy. Uh, I was in no man's land. I was even though I'm this fucking playing as the guy in the secondary. I should have just, you know, it's like it's one of those things in hindsight you were better off going for it cuz you, you know, they actually would have not have had a good field position if I would have fucked it up. Yes, fumble. Don't go out of bounds. Holy shit, I thought that was gonna, I was gonna knock it out. Huge turnover. Here okay, they come. All right, third down again. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. All right, there you go, Hester. Big first down. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. And another one. Swerved right into him. Ready, down, hut, hut, hut. All right. It's a good quarter. I mean, you know, it was. Uh, we didn't score, but we didn't give up a score. That, that getting that fumble was big. All right, Cash, making up for. Past mistakes. Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. Oh boy, that was closing up. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm going the other. I'm, out, I'm gonna do an east-west thing." Uh... Ready, down. Hut, hut, hut. Oh, man, they are just you know, as as successful as the offense has been. There's been a number of those plays where they know exactly what's coming, and here's another one. Ugh. All right, well, the field goal definitely helps out big here, though. Oof, I don't know about this one. All right, I got it, I got it. I was a little worried that that one's going to sail left. But a 10-point lead under four minutes left is big. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I thought he was going to run right past me there on that one. I'll take those three-yard gains all day. Go ahead. Do that. No, not 30-yard gains, though. Oh, that's the second time one that went out of bounds. Not over yet. We can't be uh, can't be pussyfooting here. Ready, down. Hut, 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 hut. All right. Yeah, if it, as long as they take forever to score, it's not a big deal. But. Still, they can still recover an onside kick. We've seen some weird, crazy shit in Tech Ball. Like Marion Butts making a catch in coverage against a cornerback. It's Flea Flicker. It's a, I know it was a fucking Flea Flicker. He's going the opposite way. Ah! I 
I'm glad that I got that fucking field goal, though. Alright, gotta recover this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, that was close. That was close. And if they would have recovered it, look at the time they would have had with the uh, field position. So, we've got to... We gotta get a first down. Gotta run. Well, they gotta call timeout. That's their last one. Oh, he got me from behind. All right, we'll let it tick. Come on, come on. Oh. Let it tick. And I'm gonna punt it. This will kill some time. Gives them one play. So send everybody back. Oh, look at that. We called it. Well, they got time for two plays. I lied. Because, uh... Because we blew that one up so quickly. Oh, they're going to go run it up the middle. That makes sense. Oh, man. It was a good thing I caught him. Because there wasn't... A, there were a lot of guys that had fallen down back there. Wow. Alright, so... Hey, a win is a win. You know, it wasn't the, uh... The sexiest win of all time. It was a bit of a hard-nosed battle, but... We'll take it. Did okay on the ground. Running the ball has not been very, you know, our strength, really. Um, you know, and, and passing's been pretty good. You know, we haven't made a lot of the mistakes so far this season. Um, it's been very effective and efficient. Uh, and defense, having an improved defense helps a lot. And... So we swept the Chargers. As weird as it sounds to be the Colts sweeping the Chargers, that's how it is with the, the way the schedule is. So, big win. And uh, let's take a look. Well, let's first off, let's. Well, we can't, we're not going to look at the stats until we are done with the week. So, Buffalo, New England. Please, Patriots. I never say that. I never say go Patriots. But in Tecmo, I'll say go Patriots for this game. Let's get an upset. Nah, not even close. So, Buffalo's still undefeated. Cincinnati loses to Cleveland. Phoenix. Kim's close, but does not beat San Francisco. The Giants lose to Washington. Green Bay beats Detroit. The Saints beat the Bucks in overtime. The Vikings beat the Bears. The Jets come close, but lose to Miami. The Falcons lost to the Rams. The Cowboys lose to Philly. The Steelers beat the Oilers. And that concludes Week 9. So let's take a look at the standings. And 7-1. and one. We're at the halfway point. We're 7-1. and one. Um... We were six and two last year. I remember the the our eighth game was that one against the Jets that we should have won and fucked it all up. So we're still a game behind the Bills, and there's a lot of distance between us and the rest of the division. Dolphins and Patriots are tied at three and five. The Jets are two and six. Uh, this is a good division. The Steelers at six and two, just a game ahead of both the Oilers and Browns at five and three each. The Raiders and Broncos are. Four and four each with the Seahawks a game back back at three and five. Nobody in the division has a winning record. Um, and then you've got the the East is you know is just stacked. You've got the Eagles at six one and one, the Redskins six and two, and the Cowboys five two and one. The Vikings are still in command of this division at six and two. Packers at four and four, two games back. And then the Niners are climbing back into it. They're tied with the Rams at five and three. They started off weak. They had a hard time with it. The Falcons were three and zero, and they've uh, fallen off since then, and are now at four and four. So now let's take a look at the leaders. Um, so the passing leaders. George is at the top of the heap as far as uh, passer rating goes. One ninety nine point five. And that's mostly, I think, due to his touchdown-interception ratio. Well, he's got a lot of yardage, too. I mean, he doesn't have the most. he got Favre, I can already see, has a lot more. Most of those guys in that top five have more. Let's take a look, though, how where he is 
yardage wise. All right, so 14, so right in the middle. Um, Chris Miller has the most at 2048. Scoring. Do we have anybody? All right, Langhorn has 54 points. He's tied with ninth with several other guys, including Jerry Rice, the GOAT. Interceptions. We got some, but not a lot. Not enough to get somebody on this list, I don't think. Did I miss somebody? No. Now we got somebody with three. Yeah. Not in this list. Punt returns. Yeah, the enemy. No wonder why he's got the highest average. He friggin' was almost destroyed us. Verdon down there at 10.6 average. He's tied for fourth with uh, two others. And kickoff returns. Um, and Verdon again with a 16 yard average. And Verdon I think was subbing on the punts if I'm not mistaken. Sacks. Um, we've got some sacks. You know, mostly when the play gets blown up. Not enough to get somebody on the list. Punting. Where the hell is Stark? Did I miss him? Oh, he's only number 19. Wow, so 43.6. You know... I think it's because I have uh, I've punted when I, I only have three punts with him. You know, it's eight games, three punts. That's ridiculous. But um, not that he's the only one that has a low number of punts. See, even uh, Vildmima for the 49ers has only three as well. But uh, when I have punted, I punted a, a couple of those punts were from midfield, so I was trying to get a short punt. To, uh, you know, to keep him inside the 20. I remember that. No way do we have anybody in the rushing leaders department. Yeah, just like I thought. And then receiving. Uh, you know, I imagine Langhorn might be on here. Well, this is catches first. So Cash has the most. On the team at 19. But yards? Cash again, 458. And touchdowns, Langhorn is, yeah, he's tied with Jerry Rice and Jackie Harris with the Packers at 9 each. So he's not, all he does is catch touchdowns, as was once said about Chris Carter. So. That's, uh, you know, take a look at the rankings, too. Uh, so, total offense, we are ranked 24th. It's going to be mostly for our run offense. Uh, passing, we're 14th. Rushing, probably dead last. No. 21st. So, we're, like, average to below average on offense. Yeah, in terms of yardage, excuse me. Defense, we're at the top of the heap, mostly with our pass offense. Our, I mean, pass defense. Our rushing defense is 19th. So, that's the rankings. We looked at the leaders, the rankings, the standings. And that concludes the first half of Season 2. Um, so, next week, I'll be... T so, the bye week for the Colts was week three, uh, but I wasn't about to start uh, a highlight package and take a break after only a few games, okay, two games, so I'm um, doing that now, uh, next week will be my de facto buy, I'll do a highlight reel of the first half of the season, do a little recap, and just take a break, and then we'll resume action next week against the Dolphins, I'm just going to take a quick look at what the... Bills are up to. They're playing Pittsburgh. So that's, you know, they have a chance there. In fact, I think Pittsburgh is, are they at the top of the Central? Yeah, they're the 6-2 and two team at the top of the Central. So that's a battle of first place teams. Hopefully Pittsburgh pulls it off. And then, you know, hopefully we pull it off against Miami, who looks like they're struggling. 
So if that can all go down the right way, then we'll be tied with the Bills, and, you know, who knows? We'll maybe get a leg up on the whole division thing prior to our, our rematch later on. So uh, that's it for this week. I'll see you next week for the highlight reel, and then uh, we'll move on from there. So take it easy, and I'll see you next time.